good everybody welcome back to yet another video so in today's video we are going to be talking about the most used programming languages in south africa in 2022 right about now so yeah that's basically what we're talking about um i'm sorry about the echo uh there's been a lot of changes happening all in and around here right but change is good it's inevitable it takes you out of your comfort zone um crazy right but anyway that's besides the point so also one of the reasons why i chose this video today is because a lot of people would ask which programming languages they should learn da, 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 right so i'm hope i'm i'm trying to like believe banner <laughs> the survey I mean, I mean, this this result, the survey results, basically, they're from the Offizen State of the Developers Nations ad address. Is it address? Twenty twenty two. I'll link. I'll add um, the link, the URL down below in the description box. Is it a bar or is it a box? <laughs> yeah, I'll link it there so that you can also go check it out. So. Um, just with regards to the previous video, someone added a comment and they were like, oh, but like, these numbers are not what's advertised. I know, my darling. <laughs> Even I don't earn whatever they advertise on those things. Okay. But also like we can't, we can't project. We can't just, you know, we can't project and we can't discredit or whatever. Like those, those are people's reality. So it's a survey. So people answered that unless if they lied, but I doubt it. So if it's a majority, so we can't really say that it's a lie. Right. So basically also let me, uh, just a quick disclaimer. This is my second time recording this video because the first one was a bit low because I didn't like the sound of the echo, but I'm just like, you know what? You guys have to deal with it because when I speak so low, then now I sound like I'm and I'm just like, <laughs> this is not me. <laughs> I'm not loud, but I'm just like, and you know, so I'm going to say meeting in here about date. Do you understand? So, um, and we don't want to be found. I'm going to say good blood conscious. Um, yeah. Okay. So basically, um, what I'm going to do is uh, save them in categories, right? I'm going to have four different categories to group these programming languages. Okay. Um, the first category will be the overall mostly used programming languages. And then we would have, um, your front end, back end and your full stack. The overall mostly used programming languages. We, at number one, we have each JavaScript. So these are ordered in, in a, in a, in a, in a descending order, right? Highest to lowest. So it's descending. It's going down, going down. Okay. So most, there's a lot of people overall who are using JavaScript as a language. As I've said before, JavaScript is the girl she thinks she is. She runs the world. She's in the top two and never number two. Um, and also I think she knows it too, you know, you can see the, 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 you know, she's acting like Vele, she knows, <laughs> I don't know how, but like, you understand, like the way in which she does things, like she knows Mana, she's the best and no one can replace her. So, um, I like that for her. At number two, we have C Sharp. I think I have mentioned, I'm sure, not I think, I don't know I'm being under carpet, but I did. <laughs> I did mention that um, South African technology right now, like the type of software that South Africa is developing is basically administrative um, um, uh, systems, mainly because we're a developing country and we are still developing businesses and all of those things. So it's too often it's like business, te business technology making um, business and don't do it. Easier. as you know that I've mentioned previously that C Sharp, uh, ASP.NET is mostly used for business applications. So it would make sense. Everything ties in together. And number three, we have TypeScript. Don't know much about TypeScript, but I've had like a glimpse of it. Um, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty, I, I don't know. Let me not lie. <laughs> I've seen a glimpse of it, uh, but I love how it just came up and, you know, taken the world by storm and a lot of, you know, people are using it now, which is amazing. I mean, a year ago when I was looking for a job, two years ago, not, not a year ago, two years ago, TypeScript was not even one of the must-knows um, during a, a, a 
the requirements you know from from candidates who were looking for jobs as software developers but now um even i think last year they were but like previously it, it was not a thing but oh, people are you know businesses are slowly catching up and i like that for them because we love change we love growth we love um new hip and happening because it's the future kubane we can't always be backwards but anyway that's besides the point in at number four we have python python is also um one of the oldest programming languages still used till this day i love its relevance um it's pretty much like <laughs> yeah just think of a celebrity who's been relevant since 50 years ago okay or not or not let me not let me not let me, let me just let me not exaggerate last but not least we have java right basically there's still more but i'm not gonna be naming and shaming all of them because ucha don't get time for that but anyway for interest sake right at number six we have php um i remember someone i remember uh, answering a question where someone asked um what programming languages should they use and don't, don't and i was like it depends on what you are or and i was like it depends on what you're trying to build do you understand like you can't while you're trying you know which you know and i mentioned php someone's like hey don't use PHP. guys people are using php businesses companies are using php and i'm making a lot of money but also guys it doesn't mean just because you're making a lot of money you must but anyway moving on to the next category which is front end okay next one front end and guess who's number one javascript guess who's number two who's number two <laughs> typescript um and at number three we have c sharp at number four we have python python at number five last but not least we have java but for interest sake okay we're just going to include number six as well at number six we have yo sana e php um yeah basically that's pretty much it right and then the next category we have is back-end development guess who's number one guess who's top one top two not number two not number one okay so in this case, backend mostly used uh, mo the mostly used programming language in South Africa right now. Well, from the people who took the survey, is Java. Java. I don't know. Why I keep on saying Java, Python. It's Java. <laughs> Java is number one. At number two, we have JavaScript. Finally, it gets to be second because wow, child. I, you know, you so about in JavaScript is one of those languages who I always like pick me, pick me, like relax, like take a seat, like do something, you know, like like WTF, like shut up, we know you're here. I feel like he, she's like eager beaver, like, um, I'll, I'll go first, but this time around, um, yeah, she's not first. And in at number three, we have Python. At number four, we have C sharp, which I would have ex I wouldn't have really like expected it to be number four, but hey, it is what it is. And then at number five, we have Bash. This time around, TypeScript is not in the top five. And yo, Sana, I'd be angry with you. Not really. At number six, like I said, to just spice things up. Um, it's Bash. Um, Bash is basically one of those language. Um, mm, mm, kidding. I don't know much about Bash or know nothing at all. Um, I'll, I'll look it up actually, you know. Um, but just because it's mostly used, uh, it wouldn't even mean that it's it's amazing, you know. I'm not discrediting it. I'm not taking anything away from it. But I'm just playing devil's advocate. Okay, I'm allowed to. And then in at number six to just spice things up with TypeScript. It's in the mix, finally. Um, yeah, it's it's out. Like, it's out of the top five. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, well, well it is what it is. <laughs> and then last but not least, the last category we have is a full stack. You know, I, 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 currently I'm a bit of like a full stack. 
dev um but then you know the definitions of a full stack of dondoni like i don't know not guys i am whatever i think i am so if i'm not because i don't know no no js no joke js is because i don't know it now they're like you know you, you, shut up <laughs> i'm a full stack developer um okay so in at number one is the eo beaver called javascript and number two we have c sharp javascript and c sharp are like one of the most dominating um you know so okay we'll discuss it after and then in at number three typescript is back like it never left at number four we have python at number five we have java java so just to spice things up, we're going to say the number six. Number six is PHP. I think PHP is one of those languages that's like naming core that, you know, it's like... <laughs> they never get invited to the party, but they go anyway. Like, <laughs> they never invited, but they're like, how must mate, you know? And then, but like all the celebrities come forth, right? And... PHP is like naming corner like <laughs> I'm gonna go for now, the fact that that's out of the way right We can discuss this list right. How do I feel about it? I mean, it's whatever right and also Now, you know like, you know, it's it, it works both ways, right? It this list shows um, the mostly uh, uh, Use programming languages, right? This would also mean that um one of the uh, like languages like swift dart golang scalar and many others that i never knew existed right it means when uh, this is your chance to also learn those languages so that should those languages you know come up with um life-changing capabilities and libraries and then they become in demand then you know banner you're also one of those people who know those languages it could work in your favor to learn the least use programming language so that when it booms you boom with it and you become the next big thing everybody wants you uh, javascript um and and be and be needed and be the, the the resource you know also i feel like it's because so the reason why here in south africa based off the list obviously that they use those top five languages also those languages are very old in Dasekaya and it's quite like shocking <laughs> not in a bad way i mean i'm a c sharp developer and i love it you know um but i'm also open to learning other things uh which i'm currently doing sort of a, 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 a little bit a little little bit you know but um i think one of the the most um painful thing um about these languages the top five being the top five all the time is the fact that the new languages um don't have like enough contributors right for instance with c sharp c sharp has so much and so many contributors you would never struggle every error has been encountered before right and there's always someone out there who's encountered it and has a solution for it then for for instance er, you know um the upcoming or the less used programming languages don't have a lot of contributors so some of the things uh, have not been resolved but um okay i'm just imagining things but that's just part of you um okay maybe let's just say um for positivity's sake that the 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 least used languages in south africa are, are most used in other countries so that would mean that there is more um contributors and there's more um you know uh, what do i say the community is bigger okay just to be positive because we don't want to see there a bit but also it, it's it's quite a bit scary how it seems like you know south african um tech companies are a bit scared of change that um they are stuck to like the old programming languages so it's as if like they don't want to like change and explore and you know not really play safe but like do something that because you know those 
developers who are like i've been a c sharp developer for 55 years i know okay you can't because it was formed in the early 2000s <laughs> so you can't be a sharp developer for 55 years but you know those ones right you know those ones like you can't tell me anything they're still stuck in their old ways so obviously if they are the the senior seniors top dogs in the tech company obviously they dictate which direction um the tech stack of the company goes do you understand so also they want to still be the ones who know everything you know and 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 they know bana once they 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 let go of the of their old ways now it means that the younger people now will take over and it means that uh, their power is taken away from them right this is just an assumption it's not the reality that's just my thoughts my opinions thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it see you on the next one and goodbye